Thank you for tuning in to Clickbait News. This is Johnny Clickbait, bringing you the news you didn't know you need to know. And what a week it has been, as the Congressional Circus gave us a little show. We got another surprise entrance from Hunter Biden. On January 10th, two Republican-led House committees passed resolutions recommending that Hunter Biden be found in contempt of Congress for refusing to be deposed behind closed doors as part of an impeachment probe of President Joe Biden. Those votes followed a SmackDown oversight hearing where the witness being accused of contempt appeared for a public deposition. And to be honest, I don't know why this is surprising considering it's what they asked for. And Hunter Biden's more than welcome to come in front of the committee. If he wants to clear his good name, if he wants to come and say, you know, these weren't 20 shell companies, they actually did something. Uh, he's more than he's invited today. We will drop everything. Yeah, but we're he's not going to he's not going to volunteer to do that. We both know that. You, but if you subpoena him, he then has to. Well, he can fight the subpoena in court. Uh, it's very difficult. You know, I think if it were easy to get a, a president or their son in front of a House committee, they, the January 6th committee probably would have done that with, with Donald Trump. His counsel and the White House have both argued that the reason he couldn't come for a deposition was because there wasn't a formal vote for an impeachment inquiry. Well, that's going to happen in a few hours. We think it's going to pass. We think the House of Representatives will go on record with the power that solely resides in the House to say we are in an official impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight. And when that happens, we'll see what their excuse is then. They should have been here today, but once we take that vote, we expect him to come in for a uh, for his interview, for his deposition, and frankly, uh, we'll also, I think, look at uh, contempt. Hunter Biden's appearance was like a WWE entrance at the regular Royal Rumble. What the hell? A mob of press trailing his every step as he entered the ring for us all to see. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who's got an unhealthy pornographic obsession with Hunter Biden, was sitting in the background going crazy as she and continued to encourage him to make an OnlyFans. Showing proof, uh, proof, proof of Man Act, Act violations. Uh, um, Democrats should, should thank, not be thank, offended okay. by pictures uh, Chairman, that black out. Have things. I been recognized? They should be offended by point of parliament. But even when he's looking them right in the face, Republicans just want to spend their time throwing punches at the witness rather than actually ask any real questions. Um, second question, you are the epitome of white privilege. Coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed, what are you afraid of? You have no balls to come up here and... M Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. Mr. Chairman... Um, if, if the, the lady recognized if, if, if the general if the general lady Let's wants to hear from Hunter Biden we can hear from him right now Mr. Chairman Let's take I don't know sitting there in the audience as you accuse him of not appearing looked pretty ballsy And here's the issue it's your own people that made a mockery of this process by refusing to appear for their own congressional subpoenas And their attempts to avoid accountability for them are actually more comical than clever Mr. Attorney General my colleague just said that you should be held in contempt of Congress. And that is quite rich because the guy who's leaving the hearing room right now, Mr. Jordan, is about 500 days into evading his subpoena. About 500 days. So if we're gonna talk about contempt of Congress, let's get real. I mean, are, are you serious that Jim Jordan, a witness to one of the greatest crimes ever committed in America, a crime where more prosecutions have occurred than any crime committed in America, refuses to help his country, and we're going to get lectured about subpoena compliance and contempt of Congress? Jim Jordan won't even honor a lawful subpoena? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And trust me, if you want to know if Hunter Biden has balls, just ask Marjorie Taylor Greene as she continues to show all of us her porn collection of the president's son. And why is there such a trend of her and Matt Gates just strolling around Washington trading porn like Pokemon cards? This is a guy that didn't have, that the media didn't give a time of day to after he was accused of sleeping with an underage girl. And there's a reason why no one 
and the conference came and defended him because we had all seen the videos he was showing on the house floor that all of us had walked away of the girls that he had slept with. He'd brag about how he would uh, crush ED medicine and, and, and chase it with, um, with an energy drink so he could go all night. An even more hilarious part of the subpoena smackdown was Marjorie Taylor Greene's fetish fandom getting totally ignored by her favorite porn star. Gentlemen, time's expired. Chair, recognize Ms. Green from Georgia for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, apparently, you're afraid of my words. Whoa! Uh, here <laughs> oh! I like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Burst their bubble. Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong, conservative Republican women. Damn. Now that's a walkout. Jim Jordan better be taking notes. And poor Marge. Is it really because he's afraid of strong Republican women? Or maybe, just maybe, your obsession with this is just crazy and weird and everyone is ignoring you. Well, the, well, the Raptor, did, Hunter Biden will have an opportunity in deposition. But Chairman, to come that in was memorialized that. in emails that we that you guys leaked from Hunter Biden's laptop. Thank you. I would Thank like you. to have asked Hunter Biden about man act violations, Wait, sex yeah. trafficking women across Thank state you all lines. very much. Thank you. That would have been a good question. You don't seem to care about that. So. And I know I'm going to have comments of Republican voters going on long tirades with dreadful spelling about this hearing. But I genuinely want to ask, don't we all want to hear more on this? Don't we all prefer to hear it publicly rather than filtered through partisan megaphones after a private hearing? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Because I don't think it's insane for me to say that if this investigation is so legitimate, then we should actually want answers from this as voters from the source. Because I'll tell you why they want this to be private. They want to create a pile of propaganda to pump out during the election year. If Hunter Biden were actually to get roped into this circus, then we would see cherry-picked segments pumped out across airwaves, and then Republicans will promise a public testimony, but delay that until their negative messaging has successfully been injected into the stream of information. And if it wins them an election, probably indefinitely. This has been, I think, the most transparent uh, political or, or, or congressional investigation since, since I've been in Congress for seven years. We've seen five years of dodgy shenanigans over this investigation. Now turned impeachment inquiry because they lack the evidence and the votes for a real impeachment. And even then, he's still got half of the impeachments of the candidate he's running against. I don't I just feel like y'all are eroding this process into comical nothing. For now though, keep chasing those headlines, clickbaiters. Stay curious, stay safe, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the subpoena smackdown in the comments below. This is Johnny Clickbait, signing off.